We begin with the broom dusters and how Jim Matthews brought hockey to the southern tier. Beating, right circle, head the loose shot, loose the shot, and a Hockey in Binghamton began well before the dusters hit the ice. It started with the vision of a local businessman who had a passion for hockey, Jim Matthews. Dad came from a hardworking family in, in northern Canada. When he came to the States and was working here, uh, his, his first year before really starting the team, he made $6,000 his salary. You know, I think he was just a special person who had this ability to put it on the line. And that was the beginning of everything. It was just a crazy, crazy time, amazing. Crazy and fun was the moniker of the early days of the North American Hockey League Dusters. I played with some guys that were were, were a little a little suspect at times, but uh, you know, I, they were all, I mean, hockey's like a family. The teams are like a family. How does Jim Matthews acquire such a talented player, one that would become synonymous with Binghamton hockey? Well, he didn't spare any expense. As Jim Matthews offered a gold duster car to drive, you know, uh, to all the players on the team. Three seasons later, one playoff appearance and a lot more games from McGregor, the Binghamton Dusters finished its AHL days with a negative goal differential and winning percentage well below 500. Welcome back. As the Whalers came in, Binghamton hockey once again peaked, but slowly fell down again before Tom Mitchell came in and kept hockey in the southern tier. When hockey fans think of the Whalers, they probably remember Brass Bonanza. And they'll tell you how when they hear that song now, it reminds them of either being in Hartford or in Binghamton, New York. A goal song that rang through the arena early and often after a first round exit in 1981, the Whalers exploded onto the scene the next season. Mitchell was shocked. Smith never said a word. So we remember stopping at a payphone and calling the newly named Rangers general manager. I said, why didn't you tell me about this last week? You knew I was looking. Rangers came in, fan excitement was at an all-time high as the 90s saw a lot of playoff appearances at the arena. It's 1990. Once again, hockey was poised to leave, but the city and the ownership group refused to let it. Uh, once again, you had a bunch of new faces that came in. Uh, it was a, a, a good relationship because we were close. Rangers opted to move to Hartford in a newly vacated arena, leaving Binghamton hockeyless. But just as the cycle has gone, when one team leaves, another pops in. But this time, for the first time since 1977, Binghamton would not be in the AHL. You know, the Icemen were a fun team to go and watch, but it wasn't AHL hockey. Power play goal. This into the front show. Let's go! There's just something about that building that was just so awesome. Zach Smith, just like you drew it up. We still found a way to just keep winning. It was amazing. Like we're down three to one, but you wouldn't have known it. You know, we just went about our business. That philosophy worked wonders as the Sens won games five and six in overtime, setting up a game seven date. This is the B Sens fall two to one in game number three. Now they trail in the series. But fear not, the Sens win two straight, lead three two, and head back to where the arrows play. Things are looking good, right? I thought it was just indigestion, to be honest. So I called my wife. She came over. By that time, she looked at me and said, you don't look very good. So that night, I had quadruple bypass surgery and knocked on wood. Everything went well. What felt like disaster turned into motivation. That's just sterles, you know. That fueled them, and a Ryan Keller game winner handed Binghamton their first and only Calder Cup championship. It's unbelievable. It's surreal. I mean, I don't even know what the word is. But before the parade in Binghamton the next day, the team went to go check on Sterles. Hockey fan in Binghamton for almost the whole 50 years, and yet my favorite moment is the fact that they cared so much about their coach. Also hospitalized, Jim Matthews, now 77, but still getting daily updates to the chase for the Cup. I think he saw it as sort of, uh, you know, completing the circle. So I'm really proud that Dad and, and Mom helped bring hockey to Broome County and, and that it's here we said 50 years later. 